How you guys doing? Again, this is Stan Banks from T-Shirt Style. So, bring you guys another video. Just wanted to share a story of how I started. Uh, and basically, back in 2008, what I decided to do as I was in my college dorm room at the time, or my college apartment, was that I wanted to go ahead and start uh, a graphic design, web design, specifically business. I had already been teaching myself design, but I just knew I wanted to build websites. So I started to collect books and uh, little things and start doing research on how to do so. And my first job um, failed hard. Uh, but I bounced back, uh, and that was job was actually for my mom's friend. She was she still paid me, uh, but at the time, you know, it was just my first client. I was really just learning, and I thought I could do anything, and I failed miserably. But you know, over the time, I started to get good. Um, I built my first web. Uh, WordPress website, got hacked, said I'd never use WordPress again. I learned Joomla, and I've been doing it since. Um, so from there, I picked up a camera, and uh, I needed to specifically do photos for my customers, uh, my web design customers. I needed to uh, just get myself better images to use for people's websites. You know, they sent me cell phone pictures, and, it wasn't just good quality photos, and I wasn't really a fan of stock photos at the time. You know, one, I couldn't afford to, what I wanted to actually do, and I didn't know how to really charge for it at the time. So I just said, figured I'd just buy a camera, and I did, and I really got really good at photography. It was like a peaceful thing for me. I used to like go sit outside and do photography, uh, like animals and stuff like that. Some of my better, uh, my favorite times, just sitting at uh, the local river and just taking pictures of ducks and different things like that. Uh, but I got really good when I started sharing my work and people liked it and even so much so that I wasn't even calling myself a photographer uh, They would consider me a photographer. And it was a little shocking, but uh, so I had a brief stint with photography I tried really hard to push it and sell it and I learned from two of the best in my area One weather photographer who commanded over five thousand hours one uh, for, for his average at wedding at the time which probably is definitely I know has gone up and a baby photographer was getting like 750 a session she would do like four sessions a week uh, or, or so on a Friday maybe four on a Friday four on a Thursday uh, and she was commanding that type of money but I couldn't get that money from the market that I was in uh, so I tried I tried I tried I ended up getting some clients in DC uh, and uh, it just wasn't working out. So at this time, I was also working, doing some uh, outsourcing or some contract working for a publishing company by uh, the name of Lefem Fatel Publishing, LFM Publishing. And I started to build a portfolio of my graphic design work. And I was basically a one stop shop. I was doing books, uh, book covers, I was doing interiors, I was doing um, marketing materials, promotional materials, banners, all types of different stuff. I ended up going on tour uh, when Erica Minner from Love and Hip Hop. Uh, Signed her book deal. I was going on tour, traveling up and down the East Coast at this time. I was probably 22 or so, maybe a little younger, 20, 20 21 at that time. Uh, but um, I, you know, I just, I, I just don't really sit still with things. So, uh, long story short, was basically I wanted to promote my photography business at this time and try to get some push. I just started with shirts. I just wanted to wear my logo at the time, and I did so. Uh, and it was just shocking to me that people wanted to pay for something that I didn't even intend to sell, but they were willing to pay me $20 to wear my name. Now, I did think the logo was dope. It was actually the second logo that we, I did at the time. Uh, and it was like a real classic, timeless, and I still have people wear it. Shit. I see pictures of them wearing it currently, and I haven't printed that shirt in three years. Uh, and so basically, this opened me up to printing, and people was like, you know, I'm a print mine shirts for me, a couple here, a couple there, and I started printing about a dozen and selling them. So as I said, it shocked me, but, and this also led to people asking me, can I design and do their shirts? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? I was already doing graphic design, making logos, so designing a t-shirt was nothing. Uh, I, I didn't have access to printing at this time, so what I did was I went ahead and just, I, I used the same lady who printed my shirts at the time, and I just added a dollar onto the price. So if they were making a dollar, if they were and I charged them screen fees. She didn't charge me screen fees, so I would charge $25 on the screen fee, and I added a dollar on per shirt. And so basically, I would make $12 if they ordered a dozen, and add the 25, so I would make $37 a job, which is not a lot of money when you think about it, but 
it, it was more money than I was making just doing the design. So it was extra income for me. And, you know, it's basically a start. So the next thing I did was I started to find contracts where I could order shirts. And that's when I came across Bird the Roads. So that allowed me to supply my own shirts at the time. So I would get the marker from that, uh, which boosted me a little bit uh, in, in that aspect. So um, now I was making a little bit more money. And she was charging me $3 a print. I was still charging a person four. And then I would mark up the shirt, whatever they was getting. And I you know, just get a little bit more money. Uh, so I was, at this point, I got good at, and I started to learn a little bit in the industry, doing some research uh, on YouTube and uh, on the t-shirt form. You guys should sign up for if you haven't already. If you're interested in shirts, definitely go get there. It's a lot of information. You have to decipher through what you want to use. Uh, so we um, pretty much, I was looking for a new people to print with. So I went to this one company who had uh, this little popular down, like a downtown area, and he had beat this shirts for me at the time. And he messed up my order, basically put it on the wrong shirt. I wanted V-necks, and he gave me crew necks. He tried to explain to me that a uh, V-neck shirt was four, five dollars more than a regular shirt. And I'm just like, I'm not stupid, man. Like, don't insult my intelligence. One, I know a little bit now at this point, but I'm not like common sense man to add a v-neck maybe a 50 cent maybe a dollar more but it's not gonna be five dollars more for a v-neck shirt like i'm not that stupid so long story short you tried to blame it on me and i'm just like hey i didn't even want to give you the shirts back like you i'll keep these but you just gotta acknowledge that you were wrong whatever the case is so i went to look for another printer i called a printer uh and he no, I went to go me and drop off. At this time, I clicked like 75 shirts for myself to wear all different colors from H&M, from different stores that, are, that were on like clearance racks and stuff like that. So I went into this print shop and a guy who's there was actually a substitute teacher from mine at Howard. Uh, young guy. And so I, I knew him from, from being a substitute teacher at my school. And from there, it was just like, you know, hey, well, it's perfect. Price is where I need to be. I built my own price sheet, and that's why I tell you guys my price sheet is a little higher because I was not doing the printing myself, so I was marking stuff up. Uh, so my, my, my price sheet is generally higher than uh, what, what the wholesale or contract printing price would be because I had to make money at that time. Um, and basically, uh, you know, hanging out in there from time to time, I watched like three or four printers go, get fired, different things like that. So I'm in there one night, he's like, you want to print? I'm like, Oh yeah, sure, I'll print. Um, before this, I had bought a personal machine and I started to print some shirts myself and different things like that. But it was just like, hey, uh, this isn't really what I was doing. So I bought the uh, custom, uh, the Ryonets uh, starter kit and I'd go ahead and print shirts. And then I didn't have a space, I didn't mount it down to anything, so I struggled. But I just started later on, I just started putting the screen on shirts and just standing on it and print them. Or having a friend hold them down as I printed them. So, back to meeting him. So, it's like I started printing. The first job, the very first job I did was all four, three, and two X's. The prints came out great. But mind you, he didn't train me really. He just said, here, print. Push it. You pull. You know, flood the ink. You pull it. You do it. Whatever. You're a graphic designer. You know what it should look like. I'm like, oh, okay. So, I'm just printing. Cool. Deliver the shirts. It's about 100 of them. And basically... They were all, like, 70 of them things came back in trash bags. They were, like, all crooked. And it's like, oh, damn. Like, I'm fired. I knew I'm fired. But, you know, he's like, you know, you'll learn. You know, I probably should have gave you this job first. And he still didn't train me moving forward from there. But I, I just started to take, I took my time. I thought I had it all. I thought I knew it all at that point. You know, print was easy. But I didn't think about the shirt being crooked at the time. So, uh, you know, basically what ends up happening, uh, he, um, so let me continue to print. And then, you know, I printed my own job and I just started taking my time. And that's where I came with the philosophy. Like, print everything as if it was your own clothing. But you put that out for your clothing line. And if I wouldn't put it out for my clothing line, then I wouldn't. You know, I would just sit there and fix, try to fix it and make it perfect for every job. Um, so that's pretty much where I got into printing. From there, I've been printing since. Fast forward four years later, uh, it's just a mutually beneficial thing. You know, I should share a shop. As you guys see, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much do a lot of upgrades and I've added the vinyl and uh, working on doing some TCG stuff in there. But 
that was my beginning of printing. So, like, I kind of grew into it. And the thing I enjoy is that I don't have to sell it. You know, like, I struggled with photography because I couldn't sell it. Uh, I struggled with web design because at the time, that was the pretty much the very beginning of places like Wix and different things like that. So the price wasn't was going down, and I really wasn't sure how to market it. I could just make stuff. I knew computers inside and out. Uh, so I have never been uh, afraid to just jump in and try something new or evolve with what was going on. You know, my mom, my mom says all the time, you never stick to anything, but like, I'm, I can't help it that I, I do things and I get good at it. And if it's not making me money or it's not doing what it is, what I wanted it to do for me, then I just move on to the next thing, uh, which gets into uh, my, what I'm going to record next is why uh, t-shirts is my side hustle and not my main hustle. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. just want to give qualify myself, give you guys a little bit of background of how I got into t-shirt print. Uh, if you guys are into it or have been into it or getting into it, tell me why you want to get into it. Uh, below in the comment section tell me how you got started what made you start what was your first job like uh, or anything like that below don't forget to rate comment subscribe do all that good stuff i don't know why i keep saying rate because i don't think you can rate these videos but just give it a thumbs up give me the thumbs up uh, so yes also the gofundme is available i'm doing working really hard on uh, optimizing the channel trying to get some more views and different things like that so i'm working I just hope you guys are enjoying the content as it comes out. I'm going to keep delivering it. I think I have a unique way of delivering it because when I started, I was looking for uh, some content that wasn't here. Specifically, the number one thing everybody wants to know is pricing. So uh, I, I plan to give it to you guys straight and real and just for my opinion. Uh, all this stuff is for my opinion. And, you know, everybody do they, can do things uh, different ways, but it's more than one way to skin a cat. But, I just want to bring you guys this video on how I got started printing. Uh, so don't forget to go ahead and drop your information down below. Uh, happy printing.